Isaac Newton did a lot more than discover gravity. He also discovered the laws of motion. They're about the application of forces and about how gravity affects them. It's because of this the unit of measurement, a Newton, is named after him. And it's the Newtons in your life jacket that keep you afloat and save your life when you're in the water. If you fall in, you're going to go underwater. And it's when you pull the cord in your life jacket, it fills with air and you float to the surface. But how do you know there's enough air in it to bring you up quickly and keep you there till you're rescued by the Coast Guard? It's all down to the Newtons and the right amount for how big you are and what you're doing. A Newton is the amount of force needed to accelerate one kilogram of mass at the rate of one metre per second squared. But what does this mean to you? Imagine a person who weighs 75 kilograms and is wearing a 150 Newton life jacket. And then they fall off the boat. If they go two metres underwater and then inflate their jacket, once it's fully inflated, they'll reach the surface in about two seconds. This is because, although they weigh 75 kilograms, they're about 80% water, which neither sinks nor floats. From the remaining 20%, the skeleton, body fat and muscles, only about 5% of their weight sinks. In this case, it works out at only 4 kilograms or 40 newtons of downward force. That means 110 of the 150 newton life jacket is going to propel them to the surface. But the newtons do more than bring you to the surface quickly, they also help keep you there. The newtons in your life jacket are exerting a counter force pushing down on the water to keep you afloat. And that's why life jackets are measured in newtons.